I am Thomas Lax, and I am currently in my apartment in the Lower East Side. So in my top 10 list for 2020, I focused on the work that I had seen in this very room. For my addition, I wanted to look at the moment where I left this place. I had a chance to go and see the exhibition Sahel at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And Sahel was an exhibition that looked at art made in West Africa. Most of the art made in the exhibition is pre-colonial, so before uh, African contact with Europe. It's a gorgeously installed show that tries to take a really long expanse of time, over a thousand years, and you know many different cultures, and finds a way to kind of make a link across all those spaces. I mean, I think what's really important is the show is part of a series of exhibitions that looks to Africa's relationship to history. I think, you know, a lot of European philosophers had theorized Africa as being a place outside of history. The exhibition looked at the archaeological findings over the last 20 years and the ways that the material culture that had been um, kind of recovered through that process testified to a robust account of the past that didn't kind of align with understandings of Western ideas of history, but nevertheless proposed perhaps a different way of understanding the relationship of the present to the past. And they also had a lot of work from African institutions, so they felt like there was a kind of inherent cultural politic around the ability of African art museums to not only account for and take care of the history of art and material culture, but also to like make that material available for a future generation. So that also felt uh, really exciting to have this kind of image of the past that felt like a kind of blueprint for what a future might look like.